Ladies and gentlemen, the confessions. Now, um, uh, well, nice to, uh, good afternoon. Nice to see you again. Now, what do you think of the suit? Like, what? That's nifty, isn't it? Look at that now. What is <laughs> hey, it's nifty. Now, the funny thing, it's a very interesting story about that, this suit. Very interesting. Do you want to hear it? <laughs> oh, you're, oh, you're going to anyway. <laughs> <laughs> to make your minds up. No, the thing was this. No, it was very funny. You see, because what's the day? Well, that's right, last Wednesday. I was up in the attic rummaging, as you see, among the... Just to make it pass a couple of minutes, you know. <laughs> and, uh, yes, and uh, I came across some old souvenirs from the war. Some, um, uh, you know, my war souvenirs. The last war. And, um, <laughs> yes, yes. And uh, I'm a cunning devil, you know, really, because I came across this parachute. Came across this parachute. <laughs> I sent it to the trainers, I'd it made up into a suit, look! <laughs> it's nifty, isn't it? The only thing is, you see, the only thing is, being a parachute, when you, when you pull the cord, the trousers fall down. <laughs> very slowly. <laughs> it's all right, so long as you're not in a hurry, if you understand what I mean. <laughs> now, you're saying to yourselves, what's he on about? What the devil's he on about? Where about, where's his confessions? What about his confessions? Well, I'll tell you. Now, I'll tell you. Before the war, I was on this cycling tour of Germany. A cycling tour of Germany, and I met this German Fräulein, Brunhilde. Now, her Brun was nothing, but, <laughs> but she had beautiful Hildas. And, <laughs> wait a minute! Please, please, please! No, and you, honestly, and she taught me so much, you'd be surprised what I picked up from her. And the thing was, wait a minute. Mainly the German language. <laughs> Especially the German language. I could speak fluid German. I can talk in the sheep in the heart. Oh dear. I splashed all the front row. Would you mind moving back a bit? <laughs> yes. Now, the thing is this. This German I learned can be very useful during the war because this is where it can be useful. When I made my daring escape, while I was a prisoner of war, this German language was essential. You see, this is how it started. I was in a concert party. A concert party captured in France, and we were being transported, you see, in a lorry, to Stalag Luft III. I was doing my bit in the true bulldog spirit, and trying to keep morale up by doing my famous impersonation of George Formby. Wait, wait, wait! I've got four more choruses! Well, how was I to know they didn't like George Formby? It was then I saw the French farmhouse. I knew I had to approach it with great caution. Not because of the Germans, but those French cows aren't a bit fussy, you know. Oh, no. <coughs> right, nobody move or I'll plunk. <laughs> Hello? Nobody here. It's an empty house. What do you mean I should be used to that? Don't be saucy. Don't be cheeky. I'll switch you off now. Hello? What's this? This is still warm. Look. They must have left here in a hell of a hurry. Oh, yes. A hell of a hurry, look. <laughs> now, let me see. I wonder who lives here. Oh, look! Oh, look! Oh, this reminds me of something I haven't had for a long time. Oh, yes, it does. Oh, it does. But it's been so long I've forgotten what it was like. Oh, yes. No, I used to have it twice a week, you know, regularly. Oh, yes. Every Wednesday and Friday, yes. Spotted dick. Oh, yes. Spotted dick. It's a pudding. See, made in a stocking. Haven't you, hasn't your mum ever made a pudding in a stocking? Oh, yes. The only thing is, you can't tell, sometimes, whether it's a currant or a corn plaster. No. <laughs> All this talk about food has made me ravishing. Now, oh yes, 
What could the baker have had in mind? <laughs> <laughs> uh, where's a knife? Can you see a knife anywhere? Knife. Where do they keep the knives? Uh, oh, thank you very much. Now, have you got any butter? Uh, oh! Put your hands up. Up where? On your head. <laughs> oh, yeah. Shut up. Oh, yes, all right. So, uh, I see the point. Now, listen Wait to me. Wait a minute, give them a chance to laugh. They haven't got something they can afford to waste to see. See the point, you see. Oh, please yourself. Sorry. Yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> hey, oh, well, you take an inventory. I'm frisking you. Huh? I am frisking you. I've heard about you frisky Frenchman. Oh, yes. What are these? Both halves of me. <laughs> It's worse than going through the customs, isn't it? Yes. Have you got a concealed weapon? Yeah. <laughs> that is my business. Stand still. Do attention. Yes. Now we get to the bottom of this. Oh. <laughs> they, never give, they never give up these Frenchmen, do they? Now listen. Yes. What I want to know is who you are. Who I are, yes. And what you are doing here. Here, yeah, yes. Who I are. Well, I are Private Howard, KCG, X Z five four three so you are telling nine, me. eight nine eight seven six five four two. You mean to tell nine, me nine four three one eight seven nine six four eight six O O O O O stroke guess what? No oh. no one <laughs> That's a very long number. Yeah, it was a serial number. <laughs> <laughs> serial number. Don't doze off. That's a good one, that, isn't it? Nespa. No, no Nespa. All right. So, I am going to have you interrogated by our leader, Captain Lavi. I don't give a fig for your Captain Latrine. <laughs> Captain Lavi. Lavi. Twenty same thing. You laugh soon on the other side of your face. <laughs> I wish to God that lot would. <laughs> <laughs> Captain Lavi is quite merciless with spies and traitors. You see these? Yes. Each one represents a dead Nazi. Dead Nazi? Each one put to death by our Captain Lavi. Oh, well, look, will you give uh, Captain your my compliments? I am very, very sorry. I can't say to me. Yes, I must, uh, I must go to Tibet. Tibet, you see. I have to entertain the troops. Uh, 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 uh. There are no troops within a thousand miles of Tibet. Well, that's all right. My voice carries. You see. <laughs> Captain Lavi! No, Will please you come don't. Down? No, please, I'm true British. I really am. There's red blood coursing through my veins. Then what are you worried about? The, the yellow streak running down my back. <laughs> God. Sounds like the thing from outer space. <laughs> oh, Captain. Oh, Captain, please. I'm pleading with you, have mercy. I'm pleading, I'm pleading. I'm just a miserable pleader. <laughs> Look, you, will you mind shaking your faces? I'm, my life's at stake here. It's a difficult thing. Oh, please, Captain. You must show me pity. You must show me mercy. Oh. <laughs> you must show me many things. <laughs> oh, yes. Here, you're not a man, are you? You aren't a man at all. It sticks out a mile. Of course you're not. <laughs> Are you one of those, what they call, oars to combat? Silence! <laughs> what have you found out about this man, Pierre? He claims he's British. I think he lies. We shall soon find out. Oh. I have methods that drain a man of all his strengths. By the time I have finished with you, you will be a quivering, decimated wreck. Oh, but what a way to go. <laughs> yeah! 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 Where? There! <laughs> of the service are you in? Well, I'm in a concert party. What are you doing this concert party? Uh, I entertain. You lie! Prove it! Prove oh, I'm it! On. I'm on, I'm on. Ding, ding! Yes! <laughs> here's a good one, here's a good one. Now, um, a funny thing happened to me on the way to the war. Yes. Uh, this uh, sergeant said to me, is your name Howard? I said, yes, sir. He, he said, is that private? I said, no, everybody knows it. <laughs> I told you he lied. Well, they can't all be gems, can they? I see it, toi. Oh. Now, Yes. We shall see what you know about England. Yes. Say the first thing that pops into your head. Pops, yes. <laughs> what do you associate with Bristol? <laughs> Come on, Bristol, we're waiting. They're all waiting. <laughs> yes, Bristol, the Beaufort bomber. 
Actually, that's the second thing that popped into my head, Dad. <laughs> what famous queen died in 1901? Queen 1901 died. 1901. Uh, uh, Victoria. No. Uh, Oscar Wilde. No. <laughs> <laughs> Enough of this. Uh, oh. Now I slit his throat. No, huh? no. I have a better idea. Huh? Leave us alone for a few minutes. You understand? <laughs> <laughs> Don't you try anything funny. <laughs> In front of this lot, I wouldn't tell you. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, don't try to escape. Oh. We have booby traps out there. I think we're a couple in here as well. <laughs> Why don't you make yourself more comfortable, my friend? Uh, uh yeah, well, it's very kind, thank you. <laughs> I'm forgetting my manners. Yeah. All this time and I don't even know your first name. Uh, well, it's Francis. I want you to be frank with me. Well, I prefer Francis. <laughs> <laughs> you must understand. No, you must understand. I'll try. I am deeply involved in the resistance movement. Resistance? You could have fooled me, I must say. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, mind. That's why, that's why I'm forced to interrogate you. Oh, it's, well, it's, it's... But I'm sure you prefer for it to be carried out on a nice, intimate basis. Well, that's... Wouldn't you rather have it out with me? <laughs> <laughs> you dare. Come on, now, you dare. <laughs> come on, come on. No, we have no idea to say. Listen, tell me, Please, tell yeah. me This is it. This is the bit you've been waiting for. Get the kiss. <laughs> yes. Get the kids to bed now. Get the kids. Yeah, go on. Carry on, yes. Where were we? Where were we? You're the... Yes. Do what you feel. Feel free. Oh, no, I can... Oh, I can feel desire. Oh, yes. I can feel desire oh, welling yes. up in me. Oh, it's a primitive urge. Oh, you must let yourself go. Forget your inhibitions. Oh, I couldn't. I'm... So, I'm oh, I... I'm too... <laughs> I'm too embarrassed. Oh, no, no, Sherry. No, you must get a grip on yourself. Oh, that'll make it worse! <laughs> Do it, it will be our little secret. A secret? Secret. You're keeping a secret, then? I promise. If I do it, or that I will. Oh, yes. I'll do it. Oh. I've always wanted to act out my fantasies. <laughs> so now I'm going to. Oh, dear. Oh, I know I'm being naughty, really. <coughs> <laughs> He's English, all right. How does she tell? <laughs> Are you sure you know about radio? Of course I know all about radio. You ask anyone in England, they'll all tell you I'm a ham. <laughs> forget, when you make contact with London, you must use the code. Code? I see. Code, yes. Where do you keep the code? It's in my head. Oh, poor. She's, she's got a code in her head. <laughs> what do you mean, shocking? Well, this is wartime, isn't it? <laughs> Don't expect too much. Here we are, then. We want you to tell them to send the fishing boat to pick you up from the usual spot. Fishing boat picking up the usual spot. All right. Now, okay. now, here is what you say in code. Yes, yes. The ram. Yeah, pardon? The ram, that's you. Who's been talking? <laughs> The ram will mate with the you. Oh. The you is the fisherman. I'm not mate with any fisherman. All right, all right, don't get yourself worked up. Don't get tetchy. Now, right. now, <coughs> the ram will mate with the you when the juxtaposition of the nocturnal equinoxes is parallel to the latitudinal southern <coughs> meridian. God help us. <laughs> By the time they work that out, lot out, the, the ram will have gone off the boil, I'll tell you. Just get them on the radio. All right, all right, here we are. Uh, here we are, England. England? Come in England. Woo! England, come in England. Hello. Hello. There's England, yes. Hello, Bullocks. Come in. Bullocks. <laughs> Bullocks. Oh! <laughs> I thought he said something else. <laughs> That's right, barracks. That's what I thought he said, yes. You want to get this radio uh, seen to it, distort, no, shocking, no, you know. No. The word is bullocks. It is the call sign of our resistance group. I see. What do I call him, then? There's his call sign. Uh, no, I can't. No, I couldn't. No of course you, you can. You no know, wonder you keep your radio secret, I'll tell you that. <laughs> all right, well, all right, here we are. Hello. Hello, bullocks. <laughs> Hello, bullocks. Cobbler's here. <laughs> 
Oh, I thought it was a fool, really. Oh, dear, dear, All right. Have you got a message? Please be quick. Roger and over. Yes. Is it, wait a second. Look, Roger Cobblers. This is um, Roger Bullock's here, you see. Now, this is the message. This lamb. Ram! ram! Oh, I don't want you to get me down here. There's a ram going to mate with a U, you see. And there's, uh, you can imagine, can't you? And there's uh, a fisherman involved. And if you come over tonight, about midnight, exactly, you'll, you'll catch them at it. You understand? Roger Cobblers? Good. Stand up. Yes. There's no time to lose. Go upstairs and get into the German uniform you'll find there. I will not. I will not desecrate my body by wearing a uniform which has come to signify all this barbaric and deciduous in human nature. I will not wear that German uniform. Well, just this once, because... <laughs> It's taken in, you see, the It is best you wear the uniform Why? in order to avoid suspicion when you cross occupied France back to England. Ah, cross France back to England, yes. Yeah. Back to England. Back to that noble little woman. That noble little woman who I love so dearly. I'll never forget the night before I left England. She asked me to give her something to remember me by. Yes, so I did. He'll be about, he'll be about two years old by now. Get up the stairs. Where did you learn that? Oh, dear, you are so sick. It's the Bosch. They must have picked up our signal. Quick, Pierre, yeah, I'm the radio. Ah, no! Hello! This radio must be found. This is the only house in the vicinity. It must be in here somewhere. Well, did you find them? Nine, nine. They can't have gone very far. They may still be in the house. Anybody found in this house must be an enemy of the Reich and shall be executed without mercy. What the? Sikhaim, Sikhaim. Fight it, the furious fate. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'll have to do some acting now, won't I? Here we are. Oh, sir! He is tough. Wait, I'm finished. I'm finished. Here in the hay, I'm a silver hay. Here in the hay. Well, I'm finished. Go on. I'm done. Hold hold. Hold this man. God, what a predicament. I'm going to be held by the privates. Go back. Ah, oh, yes. Listen, no. It's a pity, really. I'll tell you why. Because you missed the best part. Oh, it is a shame. No. Ah, no. You see, I had to talk my way out of being captured by those Germans. Acting! Acting! You have never seen a thing like this. <laughs> now, I know I'm a professional actor, but you see, in those days... No, shut up a minute. In those days... I had, I had very small parts. <laughs> down, get common, down, get common. It, 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 was, it was the cold weather because the thing... Don't miss out! Because people did not go to the theatre, that's why. But, you see, my knowledge of German language came in very essential here, you see. And I was able to convince these people that I was a German officer. I was able to convince them I was a German officer. Now, the next part should be done entirely in German. But we've dubbed it into English. <laughs> For the sake of you ignorant lot, that's right. Lieutenant Gruber at your service, Captain. Yes. Oh, yes, you. Oh, yes, all right. Hi, Hitler. Yes. Oh, thank you very much. And uh, all the best to you as thank well. Thank you. Uh, tell me, Captain. Yes. Uh, what were you doing in this house? We saw a woman running away as we came up. Yeah, well, that, uh, that, that was what I was doing. <laughs> I understand. I'm afraid you nearly caught me with my panzers down. <laughs> Well, he's, he's enjoying what he else is. <laughs> tell you something, I wish to God he was sitting in the audience, I'll tell you that. Uh, bless you. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. Um, Captain, yes. I still believe there is a radio in here somewhere. A radio in here? Oh, ridiculous. Message for Bullocks. The you will mate with the ram at midnight. What? Oh, don't take any notice. 
the sheep of sex mad this time of the year. That came from the oven. <laughs> yes, the oven. No, please, please. Ah, uh, so. No, no, please. I'm in the middle of my baking. There is the radio in there. It's a pie. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me for being suspicious. Yes, of course. Yes. May I see your identification? <laughs> you see, you see, that's the worst of these jerry-built houses. What? I'm sorry. Down, down, everybody, take cover. It's the British. Must be Commando Raid. I mean, just look at me. Yes. Three weeks, no shampoo. It'll ruin your splittings. Oh, oh. Look, look, what, whatever are we going to do? I've done it. <laughs> I've taken cover, that's what I meant. <laughs> yes. We are surrounded and all our ammunition is in the truck. Oh, dear, that's a noose, isn't it? This is our final gesture of defiance. Oh? What this is hand it? grenade? <coughs> hand grenade? Has to be delivered by you. Well, I, oh, I haven't delivered a hand grenade for years. Now, what do you have to do? Count to ten. Oh, I haven't counted to ten either for years. Well, not in German. Let me see. Heinz, Rai, Dry, Try, Fear, Fum, 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 Seek, Seg, Sieben, Acht. Pollux, Pollux. Oh, thank you for reminding me. Yes, thank you. Oh, no, I could have hurt myself. No. Wait! Stand by! There you are! <laughs> <laughs> Poor cow. Does it show you? Well, I know what it is. I remember we had our cat done last week. All right, the game's up. Get your hands up. Up, 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 up. Right. Who's your senior officer? He is. Yes, he is. <laughs> uh, you seem to be favourite. Yes, I am with him. Take no notice. Listen. I'm British. Also British, prove it. Well, you must have heard of me in the forces. Frankie Howard, I do troop shows. You must have seen me in the Nazi. Frankie Howard, eh? Here we are. Look. Bo -bo -ho -ho. Ting, ting. Here we are. A funny thing happened to me on the way to the war. This sergeant major said to me, is your name Howard? I said, yes, sir. He said, is that private? I said, no. National health. I can see. <laughs> oh, Topical. Army, I remember you. What? I've seen you in army shows. Yes. Hey. Yes. Didn't you do an act with a ukulele? That's right. George formed me impersonations. This is it. Look. There's the ukulele. You know, I've never forgotten this ukulele. Oh, you shouldn't really. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, you've ruined me G-string. What a shame. Never mind. I'll forgive you, because you're taking me back home to England. Hang on, not so fast. Here, I'll do a deal with you. I'll let you lot go if you take Howard with you. Nein, 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 nein. We have enough problems in Germany already. Why should we suffer his dreadful jokes? <laughs> if you take him with you, I'll throw in 20 cigarettes and a bar of chocolate. If you take him, I will give you three tins of liverwurst and some pumpernickel. Listen, I shall give you both a knuckle sandwich you don't <laughs> 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 What's going on in here? Here, do you want to recruit for your party's hands? No, 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 jamais, jamais. You want to drive us even further underground? Oh, Look, my dear, I'm going to have my best gag set. I'm to my best material for some lovely gag here. Have you heard what we're Oh, space is on you. I'll try it on you, space is on them. Here we are, is it good now? You see, this recruiting officer was going round the countryside, he recruiting men for the war, you see, recruiting. And he saw this big man there, big chap, milking a cow. He said, hey, shouldn't you be up the front? He said, no, the milk's this end, you bloody fool. See? Well, it's wasted on you as well, isn't it? Perhaps you like music instead. Here we are, then. <clears throat> oh, Mr. World, what can I do? <laughs> Thank you.